Fans of Suikoden have been dying for a proper continuation to the series, and one led by its original visionary, Yoshitaka Murayama, the absolutely brilliant storyteller behind both Suikoden 1 and Suikoden 2. And now he's back with a brand new title that's hailed as a spiritual successor to the series. This new title, Ayuden Chronicle, is a Kickstarter-funded game that originally had a goal of $500,000, and thanks to its dedicated fans, has raised more than $3 million. And the Kickstarter still has a few days to go. It is undeniable that people really want this game. And just recently, I had the wonderful opportunity to do an interview with the creator, the legendary Murayama-san. I started by asking, quote, The Suikoden series has been known for having a tremendous emphasis on its well-developed world and diverse cast of characters. Do you feel Ayuden Chronicle carries on this legacy? And how so? Murayama-san replying, quote, War and the different reasons people fight it and what they are thinking thinking when they do, that's one of the key legacies I focus on in my stories. Not just Suikoden, but also the Alliance Alive. That probably will never change. I then asked him, how do you feel that Ayuden Chronicle differs from previous titles that you've worked on? With him replying, quote, it's a Kickstarter project that is being funded through the fan support. So that allows us to make sure we are 100% adhering to our vision. It makes sure we aren't putting in things that fans won't like. Even though from the beginning, we really knew that we wanted to listen to the fans and truly collaborate with them. Being able to do that in real time, to have their excitement dialed directly into our motivation, is a very exciting workflow. Lastly, I asked, Ayuden Chronicle's Kickstarter page notes that the game wants to celebrate the classic JRPG, something that greatly excites me. What does this essence mean to you and your team, and in which ways do you feel the game captures this essence? With them replying, quote, I think the JRPG genre can be fairly orthodox, but there are a number of things to enjoy in a JRPG. Battles are fun, the collection aspects is fun, growing your characters is great. There are many games and interesting storylines to enjoy. Basically, many different ways to enjoy the game. And that's my hope, that people will find their own way to enjoy the game. The game features wonderfully done 2D sprites over gorgeous 3D backgrounds. There's also something really to be said about how fluid the animation is for the sprites. It really is some of the cleanest sprite artwork in recent memory. It's just a beautifully nostalgic type of art that you don't normally see in HD. To say this game is visually pleasing to the eyes is an understatement. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The traditional six-character turn-based battle system that you're familiar with will also be returning for a Yudin Chronicle. And the game will feature over 100 characters, something that fans of Murayama's work should come to expect by now. The game revolves around the fortress town, which operates as the player's base of operations. It starts out small, but eventually you'll be recruiting all these characters into this town, and from there, having them work for you. As far as the music goes, Matoi Sakuraba, known for their work on the Tales of series, Shining Force 3, Golden Sun, and Baton Kaitos, will be providing music for Ayuden Chronicle, as well as as Michiko Naruke, who's known for their work on Wild Arms 1 through 4. Now you may be wondering, when and where can you get your hands on this game? The estimated development time for this game is around two and a half years, and it's currently being developed in Unity Engine, with the goal to make this available for PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo's next generation of hardware. They would also like to include Switch on that if possible. Which hopefully Switch is included as this would be like the perfect game to play on the Switch. If you'd like to support the game and receive a digital version of it, you can pledge around 4,000 yen which is roughly 38 United States dollars. Currently they're sitting at 3.2 million dollars with stretch goals going all the way up to 3.6 million dollars. So if you love classic JRPGs like Suikoden and want to help Murayama on his next adventure, there is a link in the description below. And with that said Ultima, I want to hear from you. Will you be supporting Ayuden Chronicle? And are you excited to play this so-called spiritual successor to Suikoden? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you love what I do here on YouTube, you might also love what I do here on Twitch, where right now I am currently streaming Persona 4 Golden. The stream starts at around 6 p.m. Central Time every weekday. So if you want to make history and join the adventure, head on over to twitch.tv slash thenightskyprints. Link in the description below. Oh.